Hey everybody, it's Bill and Danielle's behind the camera. We just wanted to show you our new camper system for the season of 2020. We were going to make a nice video outside, but it's about 20 degrees of the wind chill, so we're in our garage. Um, what I wanted to show you today was the bed system we made to, um, to camp with. We went with a topper lift rather than a camper. I'll review this, talk about the topper lift at another video. Right now I just wanted to do the bed. So um, looked at a lot of YouTube videos, got a lot of ideas. Uh, didn't really see anything that fit us. We wanted to do a little something different, so this is what I came up with. Um, so I'm going to just go through that now. We decided um, we have a drawer system, and I put these boards here just to give us a little more height. It gives us an extra three inches that we wouldn't have had otherwise. Since the topper lift goes up quite a ways, we had extra head space. So these boards kind of fit behind the actuators. They don't come out very easily and they're not in the way. So um, I'm going to leave them there. Everything else is in my drawer. What I did is I built just the center piece. I don't really like it. It's kind of crappy wood. I thought I'd be building this over anyway, so I didn't really care. Um, but now it works, so I don't really need to do it. Otherwise, I might. But what I did is I, um, this is just one by threes. I routed out the edges a little bit with just a hand rasp. So it fits right in our grooves, nice and easy. And it's pretty stable right there with nothing. I wanted to make our system so I didn't have to bolt anything or screw anything. I don't need any tools to put it together and everything fits pretty much inside my boxes here. So that's my centerpiece. This is my drawer. This just goes up on the wheel wells. I notched out for the actuators. And then this board goes up. And that's that. That's nice our first and part. Stable. And then we just got these slats and I put just little, um, they're just shelf brackets. And it just rides on top of this two by fours. And then the L brackets go up and against, and that makes it very stable. I've got a few of them. It's really easy to go into the sides because the copper lift has side windows. It's not up all the way, by the way. It's just we only have limited space in the garage. 37 degree day. So ideally I would have done that with the top either up or down and then I could have just reached in from the sides and that would have been a lot easier of a process but when I'm in my garage I can't raise it all the way up. After that I just got this plywood. I don't like this plywood. I want to come up with a better system than this but that's phase two.
that just sits on top of the slats between the actuators so it's a good fit for the drawers I saw a lot of systems with sliders underneath and they're all boxed in perfect nice and neat which are really nice but we're more simple practical it works nothing fancy got less than a hundred dollars in wood in this and that's it so this drawer is kind of narrow and I thought if I didn't put the space here it'd be wasted space up top anyway so the purpose of these sideboards are to give me the extra three inches for that drawer. It also gave us room down here. We bought an easy up. We're just going to sleep in this, so we need a spot outside. So we bought an easy up. That's going to fit underneath there. Our chairs, whatever else needs to fit there. And plenty of room in the drawers. Plenty of room in the drawers. For everything that we need. Our yeah, kitchen um, items and... I kind of paused there because I got us thinking about my my kitchen area. Ideally, I want to have be able to pull this out and maybe have some kind of counter space here. So I would do all my cooking here and have a canopy off the back. This would be like a little kitchen area, but um, I don't need that right now. Our first trip, Outer Banks in a couple weeks, we're not going to be doing that much cooking. So um, I'm just going to kind of use it like this and then we'll start figuring out where we want to organize and we're going to end up putting dividers in here. And this we'll just... trip is kind of a test, tester trip for our bigger trip when, in Maine in the fall. Yeah. So that's the drawer system. We've and we're going to put our futon mattress in yep, the back. futon will go on top. And he's got a little shelf system in the back. Oh, and yeah, this dust goes right up. Yep. So I can leave it right there. With the, with the topper lift all the way down, we can even um, sleep back here. But I think with the mattress, it's going to be kind of tight. But if they, we could sleep in there with this down, it would be total stealth, which I know a lot of people like. We like that idea if we're going to um, stay at like a rest stop or something like that. So I guess that's that. Um, like I said, we'll review the topper lift when I get the back of it and um, make another video later. So see you soon.